Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to make a DIY shaft extractor. This is meant for graphite shaft extraction. Could be used in other things too, but the main benefit here is to safely pull graphite shafts without destroying them. It's based upon this little device here. This is a gear puller that I bought out of Amazon for about $22. I'll leave a link down in the description below. We're going to fabricate uh, a couple of jaws uh, that can pull uh, appropriate size for a shaft. Uh, and use that to um, basically serve as the basis of our uh, extractor. See so here, I'm just starting off by putting it in the vise, and I'm going to drill a hole. The hole needs to go through both of the jaws, uh, and really what I want to actually manufacture here is a channel. I actually want to cut a, a kind of a U-shaped channel, and I'm going to do that by uh, drilling out two holes. So you want a nice sharp drill bit, use a little bit of oil, and then just give it a little bit of time and pressure to drill that hole. Uh, the steel here on this actually, or the metal or whatever, it was it was nice and solid, so it took me a little bit of drilling. I contemplated um, using my angle grinder to kind of grind open the channel here, but um, this wasn't maybe the best way to do this job, so I gave up on that and tried another method. That involved me drilling a second hole. I think drilling was probably the easiest way to remove this material and was the way I was ultimately the most happy with. So I just drilled a second hole uh, a little bit closer to the edge of the top of the jaws to make it a little bit easier again for removing the material cleanly. So after I had a, the two holes drilled, I came back with my Dremel rotary tool and just with a cutoff wheel and I tried to use that to basically connect the holes together uh, to open up that channel and actually this worked out quite well so I I would recommend the drilling plus the rotary tool in the future with the cutoff wheel and this is what I was left with I repeated that process again on the second jaw to open that up now the size I believe was 3 eighths of an inch but I basically just used my um, shafts that I was going to be pulling I kind of measured them and I did use the angle grinder here to kind of deburr and and open up the channel um, to make sure that it was I want a slight angle or um, kind of almost like a you know I want it to get narrower the deeper it goes in by just a slight angle so I used the angle grinder to just kind of deburr and widen the angle just at the the angle that I wanted it to be then I came back again with the, I think this was a ceramic deburring wheel attachment and just continued to kind of clean it up a little bit so it didn't have any sharp edges. I don't want to be scratching up my graphite shafts. Then I hit it up with a little bit of hand sanding with a 220 grit paper. So this was my first test. I took an old, old putter and... So you can see I placed the putter in the clamp with the rubber attachment and then the part, you know, the jaws goes basically pushes, it pins itself between the vise and between the hosel. And then um, as you apply heat, you basically turn the gear puller piece at the top. You can see here I've got my blowtorch. It's just the tension of the, the two jaws that's basically holding it in place. So you hit it with a little bit of heat and just kind of as you feel like you're getting close to the point where the sh glue is giving then you turn the handle and that um, pushes against the vise to push the club head off the shaft and the nice part here is it gives you nice uniform pressure it gives you pressure right on the spot that you want it it is a little bit awkward to operate at first I definitely got better the more that I used it but my first two attempts were, were not so clean but you can see the the head has already kind of come off here, so I'm just taking a towel because it's a little hot, and removed it. So the first one was felt pretty good about that. Now that was on a steel shaft on a putter, so not much to screw up there. So now I went to an old three wood, and this attempt uh, definitely took me. This is my first ever attempt using this on an actual graphite shaft. So you can see, put the club into the rubber gr clamp, into the vise, and you got to position it just right so that the gear puller sits so on one end it pushes against the vise and then on the other end it pushes against the club head 
and you got to position it just right. And that's probably the hardest thing about this because there's nothing really holding the gear puller to the vise. If there's maybe one improvement that I would try to make, I would find a way to, like, the, the, the clamp that holds the shaft in place. If I could connect that into one solid unit with the gear puller, I think that would help the design a lot because the, the gear puller is free-floating. And again, right here you can see as I get a little bit tighter, it's just the tension between the two points that holds it upright like that. And that's one of the things I struggled with is kind of, I feel like I needed an extra hand. So I start up my torch, I hit it with a little bit of heat. I don't really know how the best way to use my hands is. I need one hand to turn the handle to extract, to push the part to the two sides apart. You know, I kind of want to handle to hold the gear puller so it doesn't fall over. Also, maybe one other hand to hold the heat, and maybe even another hand to hold against the shaft to make sure it's not sliding in the vise. So just kind of struggling a little bit to figure out how it works. But I, I am going to leave this in the video just so you guys know what my first trial looked like. But I will say, um, you know, I've, this was a success. I, you know, I did need a little bit more heat. The glue hadn't quite given yet. But um, as I, the more I used it and the more I kind of got some practice with using this, it actually got quite a bit better. And you can kind of uh, figure out a way to more appropriately hold everything with all your hands. You can see I'm kind of even just using my hands a little bit better this time around. And the head is already giving. So I, you know, I also wanted, to, I don't have a great system for catching it uh, once the head comes off. So a little bit of trial and error here. But as, as I you know, see I'm really struggling with holding that thing up as it's moving, you know, the tension's being released because the club head is slowly sliding off. But I would say, like I said, I'm going to leave it in here for transparency, but I would definitely say that the more I've used this device, it definitely gets a lot better and cleaner as you build some coordination and kind of figure out how to use it. And there we've got uh, uh, the head come off. So... Now let's go ahead and take a look at the quality of the pole or the status of the shafts. This is that graphite shaft. I literally just pulled it off. And uh, the main thing, I mean, it's got some junk glue on it. But the main thing I want you to look at is the very end of it where the graphite is to see if it's starting to fray or to, like, because the problem here is if you have too much heat and you try to extract it and uh, if, if, you, if you don't do it right, you, you'll damage the quality of the graphite. And you can see I'm even touching it here. This was just after I'd pulled it, meaning it's not so terribly hot. So I hit it with a little sandpaper to remove some of the gunk from the from the glue. And uh, ultimately was left with what I think was a really, really clean pull. So overall, I was quite thrilled with the performance of this. I don't do this professionally, but I do it as a hobby. But I do enough in a year that I knew, do need a device for this. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense for me to buy, like, a, spend a couple hundred bucks on one, I don't think. Uh, so this is will work really well for my purpose, and it'll help me get some, you know, maybe move a, a shaft adapter from one brand to another, or just to try out a, maybe a, a shaft on eBay that I got for a good price. So um, also check out, there'll be a link in the description down below. This is not an idea original to me. I got it from uh, GolfWRX. So go ahead and check that thread out, and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.